Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll show you a beginner guide on keybinds, which is a follow-up of my PVM interface guide and I strongly recommend you watch. Many PVMers use keybinds, with some even using a gaming mouse. To a beginner, learning how to keybind is very difficult, but it's helpful in the long term because it's much harder to kill bosses just by clicking everything. Here is what I'll show you in the table of contents. How to assign keybinds and the overview on the types of keybinds, then I'll cover the recommended keybinds in each section from most important to least important. And finally, I will show you a complete summary of my personal action bar setup. Before I start, I have a disclaimer. Keybinds are extremely subject to personal opinion rather than factual, so please take these choices as a grain of salt. Personally, I like to click my keybinds rather than press them, as I don't use as many switches as other high-level PVMers. This is a beginner's guide, so it assumes that you do not use a gaming mouse. Here is how you assign a keybind. You'll right-click on the slot on the action bar position, then press the key you want to assign this to. This is based on which regular action bar slot number or additional action bar slot number that is. For example, something like main slot action bar number 3 or secondary action bar number 1 slot 7 or something like that. If you want to change action bars, then the keybinds will remain the same for the exact position. For example, Snapshot and Wild Magic are in the same position of the action bar. You can also use Control or Shift combination keys as well. So here is the overview on the type of keybinds. First, we have the action bar slot, which I've covered in the previous subsection, where you assign it based on regular or secondary action bar position. Then we have keybinds that aren't required to be on the action bar, but they can still be assigned from controls. This includes switching to certain action bars manually, target cycling, special attack, area loot, etc. And finally, the last set of keybinds we have are window navigations, which open certain windows like quest, prayer book, group chat, etc. So then we have a guideline on what to keybind and what makes a good keybind. So keybinds should be anything where you press on a consistent basis, where otherwise clicking is a bit too slow or uncomfortable. You want to make sure it's easy to press, so your most important keybinds should be on a letter key. In general, keybinds can be overwhelming at first, so I suggest you slowly add one keybind at a time so that you can build yourself muscle memory. I press most of my keybinds on the left hand, while my right hand is on the mouse click. The first set of keybinds you want are abilities, and of all the keybinds, these are the most important and frequent. If you want a beginner's revolution guide, then feel free to check this out, which is in the same playlist as this video. This action bar setup is going to be different than the one in the guide because I manually hit my basics like 75% of the time. What you'll do is put the most important basic abilities on the left side, then threshold on the right side of the action bar. If you're one of those people that use revolution but only hit thresholds and ultimates, then you probably don't even need to keybind these basic abilities. So on my keyboard, I would have two rows of primary keybinds. The first row are for the basic abilities, which are Q, W, E, R, T, without the Y. For the filler basic, this is the letter A, which does the lowest amount of damage but has the shortest cooldown, although for range, I would put Corruption Shot here because I want more control on when to use this. S, D, and F are mainly for threshold abilities. Outside the revolution boundary, I would usually click these abilities. I place what is used less frequently because either A, it has a longer cooldown, or B, it's more of a niche ability. Things like ultimate abilities, tendrils, deado, greater barge, etc. is what I put here. Yeah, I know I have Y and U keybinds, but I usually click them with my mouse, so just ignore this. Here is a demo of me using these keybinds. I'm gonna do range DPS at a dummy. Look, I know I'm on revolution, yet I manually hit most of my abilities, but that's just my personal preference. Besides, I was able to kill most bosses fine with them. The general idea is that you should use your left hand to press your core abilities within your rotation, which is why I position them closer to the left side. On the outside row, I would usually either click them or press them with my right hand, although 4 is an exception as this is just above the other basic abilities. The second set of things you should keep on are what are called essentials. They are used as frequently as abilities. The consumables. These include prayer potions like Super Restore, Spiritual, and the keybind I use is Backtick. Then we have the blubber or solid foods like Sailfish, and the drinkable foods like Brews. 
Now, combo eating is very essential of PVM, so I strongly recommend this, as you could heal 3,400 HP in one tick with Ceradamon Brew and Sailfish. The keys I have binded for that is X and C, which are both right beside each other. I strongly recommend you keybind your protection prayers because prayer flicking is another essential keybind. This is where you want to start using a gaming mouse, although since I use a regular mouse, I would use number pad 1, 2, and 3, and soul split as Dell. So I'm going to show you a demonstration for protection prayers. I usually click this on action bar and I sometimes still do that, but I found the numpad is a bit easier for me to press the keys. The only problem is if I have to click my mouse to move then it's a little bit of an inconvenience. I'm going to show you how to combo eat food. You must eat the solid or blubber food then drink the brew afterwards. Yeah it's really self explanatory so make sure you keybind both of them. Some people like to triple eat with sailfish, blubber, and ceradamon brews, but I rarely do this. The third set of important keybinds are what are called utility abilities. As you get to higher level bosses, these abilities are used more frequently. I also recommend you check out my defensive abilities guide on how to use them if you're new to this. The first switch we have is shield switch and resonance. Now I'd like to put G and H right beside each other. Most of the time, I would bring a shield switch just for res itself. Now the shield I'm going to keybind is dependent on the combat style, so make sure you change this when you're changing combat styles. Some people like to equip a main hand alongside this, but I tend to click the floor instead just to prevent from going to melee distance. The other defensives I would keybind are Anticipate, Freedom, Devotion, and Reflect, which are from F1 to F4. For the movement abilities, I have Surge, which is 0 on the numpad. Now for escape, I would click this. For bladed dive, I have control Z. Now I understand it's a little overwhelming to use a bladed dive switch for non-melee setups, but if you don't want to use it, that's completely fine. And finally, if you have EOF spec, I would put this as number 5. Alright, so here's a demonstration of bladed dive. I'm using dual ripper claws, which once again, I get to equip them both in one click. The way I fly around this map is I press Z, then control Z and click on the appropriate spot. Now you can also surge immediately afterwards, because it is actually doable off global cooldown. See how cool this is? For the last important things to keybind would be other action keybinds. These are not required to show up on the action bar in order to use this. The first one is switching action bars manually and I kept this as the default. The weapon special attack is shift plus W, which is only for the weapon that's equipped. Please don't confuse this with EOF special attack because they're not the same thing. For target psycho, I have asterisk as the keybind. It's really good to use at certain bosses where you don't want to click, so hopefully I will do a video on this in the future. Control B is for area loot, which will open up the interface. Now that I've gone into the important keybinds, let's talk about my personal action bar setup. First of all, I tend to have a lot of clickable keybinds. If you're not comfortable, then you can just click the key on the action bar instead of pressing it. I mean, this is easier than clicking it from your ability book or inventory. Most notably, I tend to click the teleports, weapon switches, pocket slot, limitless sigil, disruption shield, and sometimes prayers. If you want to keep on something clickable, then make sure you put this on the right side of the action bar. So for the primary action bar, well, that is self-explanatory because this is based on the current style I binded this to. Secondary action bar number 1 are for movement abilities, bank teleports, prayers, and pocket slot. Secondary number 2, I have side abilities, sigils, disruption shield, main hand plus offhand, 2h, and limitless. Then for secondary number 3, I have food and super restores, defensive abilities, the shield switch, and finally Vaughn bomb. I also have secondary action bar number 4, but it's not shown here, although these are for extra keybinds. The things I generally don't like to keybind are opening action windows like inventory, friend chat, ability books, prayer summoning tab, etc. This is because you should set up your interface so that these windows are open almost at all times. Before I end this video, let's give an honorable mention to weapon switching and utility switching. A lot of high level PVMers use weapon switches, which account for a noticeable portion of your actions per minute. It would help if you use the gaming mouse or else keybinds are harder on the keyboard because of the shift and control keys. Now if you're like me that doesn't like switching weapons that's completely fine, 
and it's not necessarily a terrible thing, but it's just switching weapons can increase a little bit of your DPS. Commonly used keybinds for this would be switching between dual wield and 2H abilities, or if you're maging, you would four-tick auto attack. Then we have the special attack weapons like ZGS, SGB plus Ingenuity of the Humans, and Stadius Warhammer at Telos or AOD. Ring of Vigor and Planted Feet are also nice keybinds as well, but I like to press them for my inventory instead. So in conclusion, like I said, please take my keybind choices with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide on what you're most comfortable with. Hopefully this should give you a general idea on what should go on the action bar. Other than that, it's just all personal preference. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because I will do more beginner PVM guides like this in the future.